Hi guys, we're going to be doing um, number one from page 319 of the Siegel book. And then at the very end I'm going to kind of explain how to do number 19 on page 321. Um, so what this is, is the concentration velocity data shown below were obtained for an enzyme catalyzing a reaction S to P. Calculate Km and Vmax, verify that the enzyme obeys hyperbolic saturation kinetics, and calculate the first rate um, constant for the enzyme concentration employed. This is the data that they give us, saturation or er, subs, um, substrates on the left, velocities on the right. Okay. So I'm going to do the first part of this on my computer. So the, um, let's see, graphical analysis. So um, the, the first thing I'm actually going to be doing is um, part B, which is verify that's hyperbolic um, kinetics. And basically all you do is you play plot um, V versus S. S would be your x-axis, V would be your y-axis, and as long as you got a hyperbolic curve, then you should be looking good. Now I'm going to be changing this. Um, another way that you could also verify this as well is verify that when you plot 1 over V versus 1 over S, I'm also going to be changing the x-axis to negative 10,000. Let's see what that looks like. Um, I'm not getting much. Let's try this one more time. Auto scale. Okay, there's that. But now I want to change it so I can see where it's going to intercept the x-axis. Okay, good. So this is what this line looks like, right? Um, is when you plot 1 over V versus 1 over S. 1 over S is on the X axis, 1 over V is on the Y. I'm going to do a linear fit, and this is pretty much going to tell us everything that we're going to need to know. You can also do something very similar in Excel. So um, the KM and the VMAX, VMAX is going to be our um, X or y, our y intercept. But remember, when we do this, um, it's going to be 1, this y-intercept is 1 over Vmax. So to get Vmax, you have to divide 1 by this number. And we'll go ahead and do that in a second. Also, this is our slope. That's going to be important as well for our first rate order constant. Um, but we are going to have to calculate what our x-intercept is because it doesn't give us that. Um, as you can see, you can... Um, it does intercept right around here where my cursor is, but it's going to be very, very hard to estimate what exactly that is. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this is what you do, um, and this is what you're going to be doing for um, 19 as well. Is all you're really doing is you're plotting the 1 over S versus 1 over V, and then you're plotting two different lines. You're plotting the normal line, versus what happens when it's inhibited. Um, we'll get to that in a second, but generally if you guys want to skip ahead, that's what we're going to be doing. So right now, um, I'm going to go be going back to here, and I'm going to be writing stuff. Give me one second to kind of set everything up. Okay. So now what we're going to have is, um, oops, sorry about that. And let me zoom out now. So our when we when I did that um, slope, it was y equals m x plus b. That is our line weaver line formula. 
y would be one over v equals one over um, s, and then our slope is going to be k m over v max plus one over v max. So the first part of this question asks us what is k m and v max. So this is pretty easy to do. All we're going to do is we're going to take our y intercept. So I'm sorry, um, which was 8.334 times 10 to the 6th. And we're going to divide it 1 by this number. And this is going to equal v max. So v max is going to equal one point one nine times ten to the negative seventh. The book gives it as one hundred and twenty times ten to the negative ninth. Same number. Um, the next thing to do is to go ahead and um, find our km. As we can see from here, km um, divided by v max is going to equal this. So we can basically um, find out where our x-intercept is. So if you look at a line weaver Burke plot, it's very, very critical to know what everything is and how to find stuff. So your slope is going to equal km over v max. Y intercept is 1 over V max. And this is negative 1 over KM. So, what we need to be looking for is our X intercept. So, taking these numbers, which was um, our slope again, was 83.34. So, this was, we're going to plug in 0 for Y and we're going to um, have 1 over s and we're solving for 1 over s because that's going to be our x-intercept right so when y is 0 what is x that's what your x-intercept is your slope is 83.34 plus um, 8.334 times 10 to the sixth I'm basically going to subtract this and divide it by this number. So it's going to be negative 8.334 times 10 to the 6 divided by 83.34 that's going to equal your 1 over s or your x-intercept. So now, right now, because this is the x-intercept, I'm going to convert this to negative 1 over km. Okay. So I'm getting a hundred thousand. Negative I'm sorry. I'm getting negative one hundred thousand. Remember, again, this is negative one over KM. So in order to find our km we're going to multiply by negative 1 and have 1 divided by this so the negative inverse of this number so our km is going to equal one times ten to the negative fifth okay so one more thing that we can do is we can um, 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 in order to find out, I'm sorry, I kind of just had a brain freeze right there. In order to find out our first rate constant, what we're plotting is we're going ahead and plotting 1 over V versus 1 over S. But if you look at this enzyme kinetics um, of the very first graph we did, which is V versus S, V was our 
um, I'm looking for my pencil, sorry. V was our um, um, y axis and x was our, or substrate was our x. So if you remember that, we got a curve that looked like, I was thinking about sharing on the graphing program, but it's going to take way too long. It's going to look like this. But this part of it is linear. So what they're asking for is what is the first rate constant for this part, where this part is linear. So the slope of this line is km over vmax, but we're applying the inverse. So all you have to do is take this slope and take the inverse of it. So your first rate constant is 1 divided by your slope. Okay, so what that is is 1 divided by 83.34 is going to equal um, 0 0.0119 or as they like to say, or um, actually which is more correct because a rounding is 0 0.020. And this is going to be um, per minute. Those are that's the units on it. So um, another way to write your first rate order constant as well, because if you look at the slope, it's km over v max. You can also find it if you know your v max and km. Um, your first rate order constant is going to be v max over km. There's a few other cool things that we can look at, which is um, V equals um, S V max over KM plus S. So as you look at this, if S is really small, which it is right here, right? S is really, really small. So this S pretty much becomes zero. So this is now written as V max divided by km s. If you want to look at problem number seven, I kind of go into how this goes in. Also, six part um, problem six part two goes into this as well. But basically, you can look when we're applying v over s, v versus s. This is going to be your rate, your slope of that line. I just wanted to show you that because it's a couple other really cool things that show you how to um, figure this out. Um.